All right, boys and girls, now that the car is completely off the ground, let's do another unboxing. Almost lost my razor blade. I don't know if I mentioned this on the last video, but that's uh, my first ever new carbon fiber lip ever. The one that's on my Supra was already on the car whenever I bought it, so that's pretty awesome. <laughs> All right, again, great job from EOS with their packaging. Make sure nothing gets damaged. All right, first things first. We got us some um, double-sided tape, I believe. This is different double-sided tape than the last one that they sent me for the front lip. Instructions, we recommend two persons for install. One, well, I'm a one-man show, so we'll see. Should be pretty simple. I'll come back to this in case I need it. And of course, if I haven't mentioned it already, yes, these are the side skirts with the extensions off to the side. Ooh, man. Extreme Online Store, man. You guys see it right there. EOS, Extreme Online Store. Y'all are, yo, be careful, dude. Y'all are really top notch with the quality. Holy smokes, that is gonna look absolutely amazing. Sorry you guys, I got a little bit of allergies. Here in Texas, all the damn pollen's already on the ground, is all dried out. For those who have watched my videos since the beginning, when I first got this car, you'll see that the, literally this, within a day or two after I washed it, it was like yellow. Like the entire car was yellow because it's falling from this tree. Careful, careful. <laughs> oh my God. There they are. Damn. Oh my God, this is absolutely amazing. I hope the camera's doing justice just to how beautiful this is. The quality is, I mean, it speaks for itself. So uh, in regards to the side skirts, you guys are probably wondering, well, you already have side skirts? Yes, uh, but just like the front lip, these are damaged. Um, actually, I'll go ahead and show you guys just how bad they are. They look good from afar, but when you get up close, I don't know if you can see the big old crack that's right there. But I was talking about these side skirts, so, here, you'll see actually a crack that's already developed from the inside. It was about to go all the way through. However, whenever I saw this, um, you know, I jacked up the car and I found this. <laughs> Hopefully, the camera can pick it up, but if you guys see all these little, um, what you call it plastic welds, I ha basically welded all this together. This was shattered in one piece. This was another piece that was about to go through. This was about to turn into like four or five different pieces. I knew it probably wasn't gonna last long. So here we are. So first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and, go ahead and remove these along with those side pieces and I'll show you guys how to install all this. All right, so first things first, we do have to remove the rear wheels because we have some screws along the inside which cannot be reached, especially with this big ass wheel. Um, and then I found another crack here. You guys can see that this side here was on its way out for sure. It was barely hanging on. Yeah, I'm pretty old school. I really don't uh, use impacts for my wheels. So it probably saved me a lot of time, but it is what it is. Ain't nothing wrong with uh, using the old cruceta. I'm not sure what you call this in English. In Spanish, you call it a cruceta. This car is like a different level of nice. I'm trying to be careful with scratching it and things like that. <laughs> Bro, what the hell? Look at that. And I'm not a small person, so my hands are not small. These things are huge. Holy shit. God damn. That's what her name is, Big Booty Dory. Dear God. All right, and just like that, they are removed. Very, very simple. Uh, just, you know, some screws along the side of the skirt, screws along the inside. These are the screws that they send you with the side skirts. 
um, again just like the front ones you know very very thick good much better screws than what I took off I guess I could use my kids ratchet instead huh or should I use the real one <laughs> you guys can see you just got to follow this line if uh, EOS did a good job it's gonna fit up perfectly push this panel in and like Jim Carrey once said, like a glove. <laughs> Forgot what movie that is, but he said that in one of those movies. Look at that. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. So I'm gonna install this one because this is an actual bolt. This one's actually pretty tight on the car. Install this one and uh, work my way up from there. Now you gotta be careful with this. This is carbon fiber, right? So you're, you should not be forcing anything. Just follow EOS's instructions. <laughs> that bolt that was on here with the old ones, it didn't even want to grab anymore. I went ahead and used the screws that they provide for you. Man, that thing is sturdy and it fit perfectly, man. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah, so just uh, follow what EOS says. I'm almost done with your car. Oh, I gotta hurry up. I'm running out of daylight. Thank you. One of the most important things here for the side skirts, and one of the mistakes that I've seen people online, they try to match it up to where it's like perfect in the front, but you gotta make sure it's perfect in the rear because what you want is for that side skirt to be touching the back section. That's what the point of the flap is. It can be, you know, just united like this. And all you gotta do is trust the uh, fitment for the company that made your side skirts and it should work. For example, here, I press that all against to the back and there you go. That's pretty damn good to me. All right, if you're trying to do this by yourself like me, um, I recommend you put one screw because you have, you see you have two holes right there one for each uh, side put one on that end and work the front back um, now if you try to use these screws here from EOS on the back that little flap is way too small way 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 too small you are going to crack it see that see those two holes there do not put these screws in there there you're gonna crack this so get yourself something smaller like this at least just to hold it down and then you can finalize your install once you're got everything else secure and there we go side screws are on now on this one here i didn't even put a bolt all the way through i just put one of those little clips just to cover the hole uh, but i mean i got the screws here this one i used a bolt nut and lock washer so that way that never gets loose uh, this one here is also a bolt with a nut and a lock washer so it's very, very secure. Very, very secure. This isn't going anywhere. Um, but I will say this, those black screws that EOS sends you, they're real thick and they bite really, really good into the, into the, the you know, the fiberglass. That's what these cars are made out of. So yeah, I mean, sucks drilling into the car, but for, you know, this, <laughs> it's definitely worth it. It looks so good. So yeah, and not only that, you guys, be careful with the drill. I got my finger. Um, now I gotta quickly try and do this side before the sun goes down. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get it done, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Unfortunately, yesterday it did get dark on me. Had to work out here with them spotlights. Again, the carbon fiber, absolutely amazing. Fitment, perfect. Absolutely worth it, cause God, that looks so good. That looks really, really, really good. I know the car's really dirty, but I'm gonna get it washed up here in a bit. But 
Just look at that carbon fiber. The carbon weave, everything, the clear coat, everything looks fantastic. Obviously, you know, now it's up to put it up to the test as far as how does it withstand with this Texas heat. But this car should be per this car should be fine. It is always going to be shaded in a garage or under a carport. So I shouldn't have any problems with that. But that's going to wrap it up for the side skirts, you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Now, the next thing that we're going to be doing is the last piece, which is that box right up there. It's the last piece of the carbon fiber arrow kit from EOS. And then we're just going to tie it all together. And again, the, the next video, I'll pop it out right away so you guys don't have to wait too long in between videos. All right. So y'all have a good one.